Hey, what's up, Will? I ought to be out there recording the full moon, which I probably will. And we'll schedule this video to come out in October when we're in the month of the pink tourmaline and the pink sunglasses. Okay, so we're kind of in limbo. We're the last few days of September and sapphires. But soon it will be pink tourmaline and basically, you know, breast cancer awareness, you know, because I don't really think of the early part of October as quite Halloween yet, although I have put out my autumn wreath, okay? And, um, first of all, in this video, I'd like to talk about, um, my two dolls. I keep talking about them. My gray-haired Barbie and Ken, or they're not really Barbie, um, they're from AliExpress, and how I put some glasses on him, to make him look older, he looks more like Anderson Cooper now. Um, and I put big earrings on her to make her look older. So I think that looks a little bit more embellished and improved. Um, so what I'd like to talk about in this video is a number of things. Um, I really need a shave. I mean, that's pretty sad. When, as a woman who will never be a man, I still have to shave, even without a drop of testosterone being injected into my veins. Um, I'm still going to have to shave for the rest of my life. So, what I'd like to talk about in this video um, is how I want to, I mean, there are just so many things I could talk about, including the full moon. Um... But one thing I'd like to discuss, first of all, um, i like to just briefly touch on how I've never left the central time zone. And it just really makes me mad when I see just how far some young people have traveled and how they just think nothing of it to cross state lines. When in 40 years, four solid decades, I have never left the central time zone. And the only reason I can really color Arkansas and Oklahoma is because we briefly drove through them, I think, on our way to North Louisiana. I think we briefly drove through the corner of them, like the Arklatex. Um, and I've only ever been to Mississippi as a baby at a family reunion. So I can definitely say I've never been north of the Mason-Dixon line, and I have never left the central time zone. So, I might be able to color five states. And that is really sad. That is really freaking sad. When you're 40 years old, and you, you've never left the time zone into which you were born. And I just see young people, you know, going from here to there, you know, just all the time. All the freaking time. And it just really makes me mad, you know, that I don't get to travel and I don't get to see the world. Um, and my hair is just going to turn gray without me ever seeing, you know, a lot of what this world has to offer. And the other thing I want to talk about, <laughs> you know, I'm just on a roll with this colds and allergy kick. You know, it's like once I get on a subject, I don't get off of it and vice versa. And I want to talk about, um... How I just really just, just, you know, I just really hate people. I hate it when people, they can't admit to having a cold. Okay, I don't know what people have against admitting that they have cold. It's almost like everyone subconsciously agrees with me that a cold is a sign of weakness or childishness in some way because it's more associated with young children. And it just sounds cooler or something to say that you have the flu. If it's severe or allergies or sinus problems, if it's mild, okay, it's like they never want to say that they have the common freaking cold, okay, and it makes me so mad, you know, when my mom, as I've stated before, you know, she would like speak for us, you know, first of all, she can't really know that because it isn't her body, um, yeah, and try to say that we hadn't had a cold, you haven't had a cold this year, I'm like, mom, yes, we have, um, and this crap about sinus problems, no. Allergies, my ass. Okay. 
you know, allergies, as I've stated before, there are just certain symptoms that you do not have with allergies. And allergies, you know, are a very, they're either extremely short-lived in response to a very specific stimuli, or they're chronic, okay? If you have allergies, first of all, okay, I don't have severe allergies, okay? That, that's crap. And really, you know, I don't see why it would be so much better or make you better somehow to say that you have severe allergies to the point where they mimic the common cold. How would that be better than just saying you had a freaking cold? You know what I'm saying? Um, how is it less embarrassing? You know, to me, that's even more of a sign of weakness. You know what I'm saying? Like, if your allergies are so damn bad that it's like you have a cold and, and you honestly can't tell whether or not you do, then to me, that that's a bigger sign of weakness than if you just happen to run into a cold virus that your body didn't recognize and took care of in the normal way. You know what I'm saying? Um, like, if, if you hear allergies, yeah, I mean, well, it just doesn't happen, okay? It doesn't freaking happen. I mean, people do not get fevers, excruciating sore throat, malaise, um, you know, and all these very short-lived, acute, those serious problems that come, you know, on the rare occasion that I get a cold. Okay, those just don't happen. And believe me, if there's anyone that knows when they have a freaking cold, it's me. And it has to do with what my real name is. Um, so anyway, you know, I just really, I just don't trust people. And, you know, before COVID, it was a little bit more common. Yeah, I don't know if, well, I haven't really noticed that as much. Because people just haven't been getting as many colds in general. And when they do, they're more likely to take it seriously and get tested. And I swear, you know, the pandemic, you know, I hate to say this, but it was almost like, a godsend. It was like a dream come true for me. It's like, why couldn't this have happened when I was in junior high or high school? You know what I'm saying? Not only because of the days off, but because, you know, my greatest dream would have been to walk through the halls of my school wearing a doctor's mask. Um, I mean, that would have been a dream come true. You know, if we could have had masks when I was in junior high and high school. You see, and it's almost like the pandemic kind of brought everyone else in line with me and my lifelong obsession that I've had with viruses, specifically respiratory viruses, ever since seventh grade. You know what I'm saying? It's like I've always been obsessed with the common cold, whereas most people just don't give a crap. You know, they just brush it off like it's nothing. Okay, they just don't even care. And that's what I've never understood you know, why other people just do not give a crap, you know, and that's why people have so many kids, because they do not give a crap, you know, if having a kid will increase their annual cold rate, not only because of the kids bringing home germs, but because of the sleep deprivation that comes with the stress of having a child, you know what I'm saying? Um, not only do kids go to school, and pick up germs because they don't know how to wash their hands and all that. But also, you're less able to fight it off when they give it to you because you don't get as much sleep and you're stressed out having to take care of your kids. You know what I'm saying? Because I think that sleep deprivation was the main reason. And, you know, my mom's in denial of this too. You know, it's like she's, she's not only in denial of the frequency and number of colds that we had growing up, um, but she's also in denial that sleep deprivation was the main cause, probably, of why I had so many. You know, despite being, you know, like, well, until my sister entered kindergarten during my eighth grade year, I was the only one in school, and I didn't have a lot of friends. So while I may have had fewer colds than a lot of other kids, I still had a lot um, because of sleep deprivation, I think. Like, my mom is in denial of the fact that, um, like, I went to school on only a few hours of sleep on many occasions. Many occasions. You see, that's the other factor. That's another reason why kids get so many more colds than adults, because they need more sleep. Okay, so what is a good night's sleep for an adult 
is still sleep deprivation for a child and even a teenager. So not only you know, have they not been exposed to as many viruses in their short lifespan, they also require more sleep. And you know, their growing bodies require more nutrients and vitamins. And, you know, just all those things, you know, combine, you know, to the point where when you have kids, I mean, you're going to be exposed to more germs. And like the pandemic was just, you know, this wonderful, like, I wouldn't say it's good, but it, I was happy about the fact that other people were forced into my worldview. You know what I'm saying? I got to feel just a little bit more normal and my almost lifelong obsession with viruses and spe more specifically respiratory viruses, AKA colds. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been obsessed with that for sure since 97 and to a lesser extent since probably my early childhood days. Um, so yeah, um, you know, this video is getting to be way too long, but you know, it just really makes me mad. You know, when people, it's like, I don't trust people. You know, when they, when they try to find some other excuse as to why they have cold symptoms, you know, I immediately disregard what they're saying. If someone sounds like they have a cold, I don't care what their explanation is as to why they have those symptoms. I don't believe them because I, yeah, for example, like this person. I'm trying to get there. <laughs> <coughs> I had a fire last night, some kind of, you know, coughing up smoke. <laughs> <clears throat> Because I live out in the middle of the country. Doesn't matter, bitch. You have a freaking cold. No, you're not coughing up smoke. You have a freaking cold. Okay? And the reason why that was so intriguing to me, because it's an F to M. And, um, you know, I've just always been fascinated with trans masculine people. For obvious reason, I always thought I wanted to become one. Um, but it just, yeah, it's like, I don't know. It, it's like a... A girl that's basically living her dream of, you know, becoming a man. But the irony is that she's not any more of a superhero as a man. You know, she's still susceptible to viruses and colds, whether she'll admit it or not. So anyway, you know, I just don't trust anyone that says they have allergies or makes up another excuse for their cold symptoms. Because I don't, see, that that's the way it is. You know, if someone has cold symptoms, I believe it's a cold. I don't care what they're saying about it. I don't care what their explanation is. Um, I, I treat them like they have a cold. I mean, not that I don't treat everyone that way. You know, because, I mean, you're really contagious before you even have symptoms. I mean, you can be asymptomatic and have a virus in your system, which is why I'm so strict. You see, COVID just... I mean, it wasn't a big hardship for me because I was already living like that. You know, I was already not drinking after people and well, I've never had a first kiss. And, um, yeah, I already used those kind of precautions even before there ever was this coronavirus thing, which I still caught about a year later. Um, and so, you know, it's just, I mean, you know, I, my the way I feel about it is, I would much rather shun someone that has allergies than hug someone that has a cold or shake hands with someone that has a cold. That's the way I feel about it. Because, you know, I mean, I, mean, I already don't have any friends, really, other than my parents, which is why I have to do what they say. Um, I don't really have much of a social circle and never did. Um, so, you know, it's not a big loss for me, you know, to not get close to people and, you know, because I'm not social by nature. Um, and, and, you know, so <laughs> we didn't go to church because one of the many things, one of the many reasons why we never did go to church, because my mom didn't want us to be like in nurseries and all that. And I don't like having to shake hands with people in church. Um and just interact with people. It's like another day of germ exposure when school and piano lessons was unfortunately enough. Um, so yeah, it's like, um, you know, that's just the way I feel. You know, I'd much rather treat someone with allergies like they have a cold than vice versa.